from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we'll get on the water with Will and Cody. We'll also take you to the Yamaha test facility for a look at some of the new outboard technology. And then we'll check out some of the new lures in the Spro lineup. But first, we'll join Wade Middleton and Bassmaster Elite Series angler Kelly Jordan at a Little Lake in Texas. Camelot Bell is a 40-acre private lake on a ranch near Mexia, Texas. This lake is specifically managed to grow giant bass. There he is. Oh, yeah. A better one there. Stay on there, baby. He's in the tree. Oh. That broke braid, boys and girls. Ah, cool. See if he comes up and jumps. Be watching, he might jump. That sucker didn't even move. Whoa. This lake is, you know, Texas is, is famous for its fishing and its, its hunting. Uh, a lot of that is due to these big, huge ranches and private lands and uh, all the people's stewardship of the game. Whether it's fish or deer or bird, whatever, it's the right habitat, it's the right management, and it's, it's strictly managing for that big fish. That's what Mr. Mike Frazier does here at Camelot Bill. Well, I think that one was already full. He's not. He got him up. Those are all those big old copper nose bluegill too, man. They are big suckers. It's like a half pound <laughs> hamburger or bigger, maybe a one pounder. That 12 just turned into a 13 right before yeah, I right before <laughs> I <eyes. laughs> he, he did. Those are some huge brown. And he's, oh, fish. get him. Oh, nope. got him. Get him, Wade. He's a big one. Real fast, real fast. He is swimming like a freight train. Do you want trail motor? It's not that big. I'll bring Pretty fair size. Oh. <laughs> get him around this side. Oh, I was hoping that was one of those giants. <laughs> Man, he knocked slack in that the first time, didn't he? I know it, he knocked slack. <laughs> oh, that's a, oh, that's a beauty. That is a pretty one. <laughs> My boy, I'm, sorry I'm hoping you got that one out of, the, out of the way and there'll be another Get him out of the way for yours. Uh -huh, I hope. Nice. In 1998, Harold Arms had a group of fish flown in from Florida from a gentleman that's well known for producing some of the biggest fish that were ever grown. I got 250 out of the first signing from that 80,000. And that's all I put in a 40 acre lake. It was years before I ever caught a fish, but I saw what was happening. They were coming up under the bluegill, they were getting big. Anyway, after about five years, they started popping really big and they started hitting 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. We uh, shocked some up and was gonna brood some that were, we had 12 over 16 pounds. We had one male that was 10, 2, 1, 9, 1, 8, 9, and 1, 8, 3. Some of the biggest males that my biologist had ever seen at that time, or that anybody has ever seen. So it took a lot of, it took a lot of bait it took a lot of uh, management, but uh, we're here now. We probably got enough shots. Oh! Oh! Is that a big one? He's heading the other way, man. Stay away from that. Good uh huh. That's a good one. Oh, <laughs> right stay over there. Stay over here. We're fixing to have to hit the button on him because he's going to give oh. us. <laughs> oh. Boy, that is a good one. Boy, he ate it too, didn't he? He did. I saw your line <laughs> jump on that too. 
he's been caught before. Look at that. That's a nice there one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Coming up, the bass get bigger on Camelot Bell. And later in the show, we'll take a look at some of the new gear for 2015. Cabela's Fisherman Series brings you their go-to line of soft plastics. Check them out online at cabelas.com. We'll be right back with more Americana Outdoors. Hey guys, we're here with the uh, Bubble Blade hunting knife. It's a great new piece of steel from Bubble Blade. You can use it as a long knife, cutting or, or uh, deboning type knife. You can shorten it up for more your more delicate skinning type work when you're uh, processing uh, deer, hog, whatever you've killed that day. And the best thing about it is this is a no slip grip no matter how wet or greasy a sucker gets, you're not gonna slip on this blade. It is razor sharp. It's the cure-all for knives. I mean, it really is. Whether it's deer, fish, I mean, I've, I don't know how many fish I've flayed with one of these. I carry one in my boat. I carry one in my backpack. I mean, everywhere I go, if it's gonna have to do with the outdoors, I've got a bubble blade. After your next successful deer hunt, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for venison with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the hunt at bradleysmoker.com. The Alaskan Series Cooler Packs by Arctic Ice. Specifically designed to keep your food and drinks cold all day long without having to use ice and end up with a soggy lunch. The Alaskan Series by Arctic Ice. Bitterly cold. Americana Outdoors is brought to you by Garmin and the power of simple. By Cabela's, it's in your nature. And by PowerPole Shallow Water Anchor. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors from Camelot Bell, a small lake with a big reputation for producing world-class bass. We're fishing with Wade Middleton and Elite Series Angler, Kelly Jordan. I would imagine that probably uh, most of the people who come out here for the first time, uh, and I've actually been here one time when that actually happened, a guy's first time here, gets the fish of a lifetime, biggest fish they've ever even seen in their entire life. Now, he has a lot of people that come fishing, you know, pretty regular and, you know, they get up to 13 pounds real easy. You think about a 13 pounder, that's huge. They catch 14s, 15s. They've Lost a lot of them bigger than that. Uh, there are sightings, confirmed sightings of people I know, including Mike. <laughs> There's 20 pounders in here. Uh, I have seen a couple of huge fish swim by when I've been in fishing here, and I've seen giants caught. I've caught a whole bunch of fish over 10 here myself. It's, uh, what can you say, it's crazy. That one has it too, the little blue flex, see that? Yeah, That's see one that of these trademarks. Show that on the camera. These Camelot Bell strain are, are really awesome. And Mike showed me a bunch of things. The body shape of them is really cool. From here on most fish, it kind of really starts crumping, you know, kind of tapering in on, on their body on uh, most fish. His genetic bass, they have, he calls it the U. They bring the girth back a lot farther than most bass. And uh, that's what makes them so big and heavy here. And they all have this beautiful coloration. A lot of them have uh, these blue flecks. You see little blue speckles in them. And he's telling about that before. They have gold on their back. A lot of Florida bass have but they have these aquamarine or blue. It's just really cool, iridescent. It's really a neat deal. I just, you don't see that very often and most all of his bass have that in it. It's kind of like a trademark calling card. Uh, they have it and they are mean bass. I 
That's a big one. Big That's him. a big one. A big one. Get him, Lake. Do we have a net? I don't know how big he is, but he's going to be bigger than what we've got. <laughs> Maybe a bit. May have snagged a freaking grass cart. Yeah, I was thinking that you could have done. Watch out! Oh he's God, freaking. he's going right in your motor. Yeah, just don't do anything. Don't touch anything. May have snagged a grass cart. I'll get the net just in case. It sure felt like a bite. It does when you come over their back. Yeah. No, it's a freaking giant. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he just stained down. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> On a little square, but that's awesome. Dude, I felt the. <laughs> that is awesome. And then started getting dogged. Look at that monster. Good there you go. Got it. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> There's a couple of them up yeah. on that flat this morning. That's what you're looking for. Look at how deep the girth is on that bass. Going down and square here. That's where they get their weight on this sucker. Wow. Uh. That's a heavy fish. <laughs> <laughs> the way he thought he had a grass carp. Oh, That's because it didn't jump. He never jumped. You want to get you it? Go ahead. He never jumped one time. I kept thinking, God. We're fishing early here. It's you know pretty early in the morning. And that fish probably was in a foot and a half or two feet of water. We're on the edge of the shelf, and we're just trying to catch some up here running in. <laughs> there's the, there's the crazy. There. Man, that's a hammer. Gotta get him a drink. Oh, that is awesome right there. There she goes. <laughs> Coming up, we'll get out the kayaks and join Will and Cody in the Texas Hill Country. If you're in the market for a new reel, then check out the Cabela's Verano. It's available in both spinning and casting models, and you can find it online at cabelas.com. Since 1976, Delta Ag has been an industry leader in plant health and nutrition. With our innovative concept in chemistry, Delta Ag produces healthier crops and improves yields. We formulate biostimulants and micronutrients designed to improve fertilizer efficiency and increase crop response to nutrients. Make your fertilizer go further with reliable products that work. Grow healthier crops from the ground up with versatile low-rate products. Delta Ag, improving plant performance. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. What if there was a camera that went where you went and shot what you shot? An action camera so easy to use you can concentrate on your hunt, not the hunt for the record button. A camera that let you add dimensions to your video, like speed, altitude, or even your heart rate, just before you let it fly. Life. Camera. Action. The Verb Elite HD Action Camera from Garmin. Thank you. 
When it comes to raising big deer, Purina is the leader in deer nutrition research. Our Antler Max research and development team is committed to developing products that provide results in your deer management program with a difference you can see. If you're ready to take your deer operation to the next level, look no further than Purina's new and improved Antler Max premium deer feeds. You can find them at your local Purina retailer. Purina Antler Max Premium Deer Feed, a difference you can see. After all my years of searching, I finally busted the myth of Yeti. The Angel High Performance Cooler, it's incredible. Just look at this lid, what a powerhouse. It's so freaking strong, so reliable, I just wanna boom. This silicone gasket's better than rubber. Why, hello there. Are your basin sidewalls way thicker for superior insulation? Oh yes, after 10 days, still cold, still fresh. Let's hear Yeti do that. With angle coolers, it's official. The Yeti is busted. Experience High Viz, a brighter sight better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. High Viz lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose High Viz. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is also brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. And by Arctic Ice Chillin' Brew. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're in the Texas Hill Country with Will and Cody. They're launching their Hobie kayaks onto a small impoundment on the Guadalupe River for a short float on a warm summer afternoon. The Guadalupe is a small river that winds its way from its headwaters in Kerr County down to the Gulf of Mexico. Today, we're on the upper stretches on a small impoundment near Kerrville, Texas. Today we're out here on Lake Ugra, as some locals call it here in Kerrville, Texas. It's a section of the Guadalupe River. It's pretty wide, as you can see out here. And Today we took the Hobie kayaks out. Around about the 34th cast, yep. we pulled a three pounder out. Mm -hmm. That's a really good one for out here. Look how fat he is. Somebody's been eating crawls. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Good fish. That's a good one. It's gonna be a good day. Oh yeah. A lot of the areas we fish today, there's a lot of lily pads in the grass. And we kind of got onto a pattern where we were throwing Texas rig wacky sticks from Big Bite Baits in a green pumpkin seed color. And we were just throwing it up along those weed lines and just kind of hopping it off the bottom and you feel a subtle bite and you set the hook and you'd catch yourself a good amount of fish throughout the day. And I mean, that, that's what we did most of the day. I love that kind of fishing. I love fishing ridges or up shallow. I love fishing shallow. So um, I was pretty excited. I'm, I like fishing this type of stuff and it suits me pretty well. Got one? Oh, hey, he's a giant. It's a giant. Come here, you. Oh, <laughs> jumping in the boat with me. All right. On that big black bait? Yep. There you go. He's a little guy, but he's starting the day off. I feel like Bill Dance. I knew we could come out here and catch fish and have fun out on a lake and we realized coming out on a kayak, we could come out here and get away from boat traffic on lakes because that's a big hassle now in the summer. And you can come out here and you, as you saw today, there, weren't, there wasn't a whole lot of boats out here. We were the only ones out here for a long time. Now, to be honest, though, this is pretty fun. I'm Don't liking you? this. It's a good little spot. There's no one else out here. Got the lake to ourselves oh, today. Yeah. All right. Don't you wiggle on me. Little river fish. Oh. All right, finally. 
I was excited to actually get in a Hobie and, and start fishing. This is the first time I've been able to do this. I'm used to sitting on a trolling motor all day and, and fishing around that. It was a little different, so I did have to get used to uh, paddling and steering and casting, but really it was so much easier than, than I thought it would be. There he is. There you the go. The streak is over. Put him back. We may not be catching big ones, but it's fun catching these little ones. It was really fun on these kayaks. Even the little ones dragging you around. If you'd like to check out a Hobie kayak with the game-changing Mirage Drive, you can look them up online at hobiefishing.com. Coming up, we'll check out some of the new fishing and boating gear available on the market for 2015, right here on Americana Outdoors. And now, here's your Ranger Boats question of the week. To find the answer, visit mydreamrig.com. Yamaha Viking and introducing the all-new Viking 6. The hardest working, most off-road capable side-by-sides in America. Built for the hardest working people on earth. You. When you change the game, you make the rules. Introducing the all-new Stealth SS from Ten Point, the most compact crossbow we've ever created. Ten Point, there is no substitute. When I'm not hunting, I'm thinking about hunting. It's on my mind because it's in my blood. When the hunt calls, my TC Venture points the way. Accurate, reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture hunter, the hunt never ends. Julie Goloski, Smith & Wesson Consumer Program Manager and World Champion Shooter. Joe Zanetti, Smith & Wesson Finishing Specialist and Lifelong Hunter. Jim Dalton, Smith & Wesson Master Gunsmith. I shoot competitively, and so does my son. Our people, our products, our passion. Smith & Wesson. Stealth Cab gives you the edge on the most elusive bugs. Capture high-res stills, HD audio and video, or time-lapse imagery. Nothing escapes our sub-one-second trigger with our advanced multi-zone detection grid. With our energy-efficient design, one set of batteries will last up to a full year. Retina low-light sensitivity captures stunning nighttime imagery out to 100 feet. Get all the latest technology in our new G-Series of scouting cameras. The next generation of Stealth Cam has arrived, delivering technologies you need every hunting season. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is also brought to you by Amphibia Performance Floating Eye Gear, by Hydrowave, start a feeding frenzy, and by Hobie Kayaks. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're in Bridgeport, Alabama at the Yamaha Marine Test Facility for the annual Yamaha Media Event. And we're taking a look at the expanded line of the SHO four-stroke outboards. We'll start things off on the water with Yamaha's Ross Grothy. Well, the new SHO line of motors has just really became um, my bigger family, basically. You know, we've added some sizes. They've added a 115, I added a 175. Um, and, you know, they all perform the same as the 250 SHO that I've been running in competition for the last, um, you know, several years. It, they have the incredible hole shot that the 250 has. The top end acceleration is um, really comparable to nothing else that's out there, um, and they're going to have that great Yamaha reliability. A lot of times what's happened is the people will jump from old carbureted two-strokes because they've hung on to that, that old 
idea that you can't have light weight and performance in a four-stroke outboard. So they'll jump from a carbureted two-stroke that they've had for years into one of these four-stroke SHOs. First of all, they're astounded by the performance. And then you're looking at 30 to 40% better fuel efficiency or fuel economy out of these VMAX SHO engines over a carbureted two-stroke. It's astounding to see the reaction that people have that I didn't know a four-stroke could perform like this and I'm saving a ton on gas. If you're in the market for a new outboard, then check out the complete line of Yamaha's four-stroke series of outboards. Look them up at YamahaOutboards.com. Well, next up, for the bass fishermen, Spro has expanded their professional series of signature lures. For more, we'll turn it over to the pros. Spro Pro Dean Rojas here and talk to you a little bit about my best friend on tour. Of course, that's my Spro Bronze Eye 65 Frog that I designed. We wanted to build a bait that was easy enough for the novice angler to throw, but was also good enough for uh, the, av for the, for the weekend warrior and even the, the pro level where I'm at. Um, with a few modifications to, to the bait itself, it can be a really deadly bait uh, on, on the circuit for what I need. But for a weekend angler or recreational fisherman, uh, we, we built the bait to be user friendly. We wanted something that when you looked at it on the shelf, that it was going to be something that you want and believe that it was going to work, and it does. It's been a it's been a great success on my part, uh, you know, on the tour and everything, and it's something that I'm very proud of. When those fish first start moving up in the spring, when they're coming out of the channels, when they're set up a little too deep to get them with a normal stick bait. The McCrip 85 is the bait to get the job done with. It's a, it's a 9 to 11 foot diving bait. It's a bait that you can reach those depths and present it in a number of different ways. The name itself says it all. I mean, it's a rip bait. It's a pull bait. It's a bait that you can throw, wind, sweep, pull. So many different ways to present that to fish, especially when they're a little bit too deep to get with a normal jerk bait. So the next time you get ready to get after those early springtime bass, be sure and pick up a McGrip 85. One of my favorite crankbaits is the Spro Fat John 60. That is my version of a square bill. And what I've done is I've, I've taken a square bill and tweaked it and tweaked it to where it has uh, flat sides, unlike any other square bill crankbait out there, very buoyant bait. It's about 60 millimeters long, so uh, it's kind of a mid-size. It's not big, but it's not small. It's kind of in between. We've got a nice array of colors. It's basically all my favorite uh, square bill crankbait colors on it. But I, what makes that bait different is that it has a nice hunting action. So as you're steadily reeling it, it's got that thump, but then it kicks off side to side. And when I was designing the bait, I said, oh my gosh, that bait just came alive. They really, really eat it when that bait has a little wilder action and that is real key for that Fat John 60. Check out the complete line of Spro crankbaits, frogs and soft plastics at Spro.com. While you're online, head on over to AmericanaOutdoors.com for the latest in industry news, gear, and one of the largest online libraries of outdoor shows. Or look us up on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, we'd like to say thanks to our sponsors for their help in making this show possible. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.